let's learn how to apply gradients to shapes and text so you can make some amazing looking designs in Kittle just like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is just add a basic shape. I'm just gonna add the square here and over here in object color, all I have to do is go to this drop down and select gradient. What that will do is immediately give me two different colors on each side of the spectrum that I can then select and play with. So I can either choose colors that are in the same zone or I can continue to change the color down there along the slider to whatever I want. Now let's say we wanna add more colors. All you have to do is click on the bar where you want to add a swatch. And so now I can continue to add colors anywhere I want. Let's add one right here and then we can add one right here. So you can continue to add this to get some pretty insane rainbow style effects. Maybe you're doing some crazy text effects and you need a bunch. Now you can also move the swatches around to be a higher or lesser value of that color within the gradient. Now this also applies to text. So let's go ahead and choose our text color. Same thing, choose gradient color from the dropdown and it's the same exact method. We have two colors on each side of the spectrum here that we can select and start making a different gradient. For this one, I'll go for some green and blue just, uh, just to see what it would look like. And of course, same way we added one before, we can click right here in the middle and we can select a different color, maybe a yellowish green or something that connects the uh, darker green to the blue. And if we want to delete our color, we just select it and hit backspace or delete. That's all you have to do to delete the swatch. And what's great about the gradient feature is that it still applies with all of the rest of our effects. So you can see here I'm adding some border weight and the gradient stays intact. So all of the gradient features are non-destructive. I'll even go over here and add some drop shadow and change some effects. You can see here the gradient is still perfectly intact and nothing is changing. So you can still apply all of your different colorings to get some super cool effects. And what we can do is take both of these off and this is gonna be great for if you wanna make stickers. So you can see here I'm adding some outline width and we'll change this to white. And now you can see what it would look like if you were to make a sticker. And then of course, all of our decoration is still intact as well. So you can see the gradient is still there in the background and you can start to get some really cool effects when you compile the decoration on top for some really intricate sticker designs. Now this also applies to pretty much every vector graphic that we have in Kittle. You can go in and apply a gradient. So you can see here I changed a flat vector to a little bit more of a dynamic one. You can see it has a little bit more depth. So you can really start to take on a different effect and design style with the gradient feature. You can also change the background to a gradient by just selecting the background color and of course adding a gradient the same way that I've just shown you the other ways in this video. So that is the gradient feature and I hope you have a ton of fun using this in Kittle. Now if you want to see other tutorials using Kittle, I have these videos here on my right that I know you're going to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and features and things like that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.